You start to the season cold as hell today. What time is it now? Let's have a quick little look. 6.54, kickoffs at 7. <laughs> no one's even pulled up <laughs> No Kai, no Rashford, no Lightning. Who else? Alvin said he's injured as well, yeah, but we got AB back though, man. You guys only get a full 40 minute shift from him today. <laughs> we, we also got Scott playing for us as well. Yeah, we got a younger friend of Scott. <laughs> Yeah. Man like Scott in the cut today. And who's that walking in now? Gee! <laughs> Scott, are you doing what you actually? Look around yourselves, we ain't got no fucking players, bro. This is how we're gonna play. We're gonna play me at the back, Scott and Gibson in the middle, and then we'll do A B up front in it. For now we'll start with you up front. Just sit on the last man. <laughs> Preserve your energy, bro. Look out for one, two, yeah. enjoy yourself, innit? Same thing with yeah, man. So this is how we lined up for the game, guys. We were very, very short on players. So we had S between the sticks, Nicky Chan in defence, Gizzo on the left wing, the return of Scott on the right wing, and AB up front. As for subs, technically we had no one. So I've got to big up this guy called Diop, who was playing another game before we played, I think. Agreed to step in for us. And Alvin might make it, but if he does, he's going to be about 30 minutes late. So this is basically as good as having no one. Our socials are going to be on the screen now. Make sure you give us a follow over there. And as always, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe if you're messing with the content. Yo, my people, welcome to another episode of Corn FC 5 Side Football. It's a new year and we've got the first game of a new season for you lot. It's our third season in Division 1 and we're playing against a team that won it last season, Richmond Rovers. If you know, you know we got a big rivalry with these lot. We got the better of them last time, but today we're very low on numbers. Hours away out the country, there's no Bulldog, no Nit, no Rashford, no Lightning. But Scott's going to get us started here about 20 seconds in and find AB. Well, we start the game, it's 1-0. They're going to take the resulting centre from that goal that we just scored. I don't know what's going on, a bit of a mishap in communication there. Because they play it straight through to that guy up front. He's equalised it. We skip through to a couple minutes into the game now. S looking to find an option. Finds Gidzo, it's a bit of a weird touch. And he goes clean into that guy. It's 2-1. We're going to take the centre after they just scored. Scott's going to lay it into AB. And you know he's always a threat. Shortly after, we're looking for an equaliser and Scott gets in clean. Surely he's going to bag that. Uh, Nicky Jan's going to come off for Diop. I'm going to leave the link to the last episode he played against. these at the top of the screen right now. If you watched it already, you know about Slim Shady on steroids. Gets the ball there and bags it. It's 3-1 to them. Diop doing his laces there shortly after during the game. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Someone probably should have told him that we put our heart on the line for the badge. So you can't be doing that kind of stuff. But anyway, Scott's going to get on the ball. It's unlucky, man. It hits the post. Their keeper gathers it up. He's going to look to lay out to one of their defenders. They're just going to knock it around the back. Checking on Diop again, though. Still doing them laces. Not sure what's going on. But anyway, Slim Shady on steroids. He's going to get it in the middle here. It's a weak shot. But that guy gets him the rebound to make it 4-1. We're going to take centre after that goal. I think the ball's going to find Gids off fly. You know, he's explosive with it. And Diop still doing them laces. Nicky John's going to come on for Scott. We're about halfway through the first half now, I think Diop's going to lay it back into AB. AB looks up and finds a lovely little ball into Gidzo. Keeper gets a toe on it though. A few minutes later, S going to lay it into Diop. He needs to find AB on the wing, he knows he's got a hit with some footwork. But who's that? I think that's Joey Barton marking him. If you don't know who he is, that's the most notorious fowler at Power League. That's why we call him Joey Barton. He makes his presence felt. It's 5-1. Just when you think... Um, it can't get any worse, it, 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 it gets worse. Yeah. But yeah, it's not looking good for the boys right now. Giz is going to have a strike, try to get us back into it, but the keeper saves it. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? Red. What? Can we call that the kids or fly head loss. Let's go. That's it. You so we've got to finish the half of a man down after Gizzo just got simp in. AB's going to try to bring us up the pitch. Couple step overs, you know his thing. 
what a finish that is. 6-2. And a half-time whistle is going to go any minute. We've got to go back in and regroup. Silly one-twos were flopping like, bro. When we're this slow. Ball, bro. When we're on the ball, please, some more urgency from our other players, That's man. what I'm saying, man. Move around, bro. We need to create something for someone to do something, man. When defensive as well, call out your players, quick. We can bro, we, are we doing any subs? We ain't got no we subs. We ain't got, got subs, subs like that. Yeah. So we're back in in the second half and we've got to try to turn this around. 6-2 down, it's not looking good. I think Scott's going to get muscled off here by Joey Barton. He has a strike. It's a good reflex save by S. Scott's going to go straight back into him. I mean, he's going to find Scott again, actually. Brings it forward. Going to look to make a space for a shot. But that's way off. Falls back into Slim Shady on steroids. He plays it forward. But Scott's in there again with an interception. Plays back into Nick. Nick's going to drive forward. He's find Scott again. Can he make it right? Nope. Boy, Gizzo is back from his sin bin. S with the ball in his hands, going to look to find an option, but that doesn't end up going to anyone. I think it's a bit of a miscommunication. The player gets it in the corner and brings it forward. I think he's going to end up playing it into the middle. And the guy's going to look up here and end up having a strike, but I don't think S had a good sight of it. Oh, my That's going to be 7 2. Diop's going to come back on for Nicky Jan. AB is going to take the centre here and lay it back into Scott. Scott's going to find him. And how about this for an assist? Seven threes, a comeback on. It's a Richmond Rover centre now, and we just gotta keep it solid at the back, and the chances will come. It's just stupid goals that we're conceding, so we just gotta make sure it's a bit more tight. Hold on. So it seems like every time we score a goal, we're conceding just as fast. Our defence has been letting us down today. Anyway, AB's on the ball and gives it to Gizzo. He goes into Scott, he goes straight back into S. S gonna look up and find Diop. Here's a lovely little ball into Scott, and what a bullet that is. 8-4. Scott gonna have another shot shortly after, but the keeper saves that one. And Slim Shady on steroids is gonna channel his inner Joey Barton. And let us know down in the comments, I mean this is a foul. Right, that's has to be a foul. So four goals down with about 12 minutes left. It's not impossible to bring back. Is that AB with a strike? and he misses by a whisker. And we're good sportsmen at Corn FC. If you foul, you gotta make sure you're all right. <laughs> so we ain't got the angry ref today, guys, and it's showing because some dodgy officiating going on. He clearly steps in the box and claims that he got pushed, but there was literally no contact. We just gotta keep it stepping and play on. But anyway, the play's gonna go on. The keeper finds Slim Shady on steroids. I think he's gonna bring it inside and credit where credit's due. It's a little cheeky finish. Oh! And listen, when it's not your day, it's not your day. Yes! And again, I got a comment on some of the referee in this game. Dirty foul there. Literally straight from the free kick after. Can't tell me this is not a slide tackle. And I ain't even got no words for this one. So as you can probably tell, six goals down, about four minutes left. We are not bringing it back at this point. It's going to get even worse. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was not a good performance from the boys, I'll be real. But like I said at the start, we were very low on numbers. And with five aside, it's a lot about chemistry. So when we've got players that haven't been playing with us, it just gets a bit all over the place. But big up to Richmond Rovers, though. You know us, we take our wins with our losses. We will be playing them again in the season. So we're going to get a chance for get back. But for now, we just got to take that, eat humble pie and just come back stronger next time. But we haven't uploaded in a while and you know we couldn't just give you this one. So we're going to give you the next game of the season that we played against Roses. It's a little double header for you lot. So let's get into it. What's going on here then? No left foot. <laughs> <laughs> What you saying? Ready today? Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, man. I'm gonna go harder, man. Yeah, we have to go harder, bro. Have to. Turn up a notch, bro. You said I was seeing DG on the interview thing on the podcasting yeah, today, innit? <laughs> That's my twizzy, bro. Yeah, see. <laughs> saying we got Kieran, new player in here. Kieran, Kyron on the same pitch. It's all mad. What position do you play, bro? You gotta tell him something, man. Center off. Center off. Normally, like 11 aside, center, center off. off. Center off. Fives everywhere, innit? Fives everywhere. Oh. Top, top, top. Good. Saying AB back. Oh. Great. How long are you back for this time, though, man? Don't be. 
<laughs> Say Nick. I need some more goals today, Samurai man. Patrick. <laughs> That's it. See Finicky John in the cup, man. Listen, we played last time. Yeah, bro. He was playing yeah, last time, you know! Get, get, get. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas know the pattern this time around, man. There's no let up, bro. No, no let up. Whether it's the same squad, new squad, we don't care squad, bro. Set the record straight. So this is how we lined up for this game. It is the polar opposite to the game before because we had a full roster. S between the sticks, myself in defence, Gizzo and Nicky John on either side of the wings, and AB up front. As for subs, we had Samurai Nit, Rashford, the Bulldog Tamim, and a new player, Kieran. You might remember him from our Christmas special tournament video, but I'll let you not know, this was actually filmed before that. So he played for us before he played against us in the tournament. But yeah, he's a good friend of AB's and he's making his Corn FC debut today. So let's get into this one, guys. It's our second game of the division against Roses. Last time we came up against them, they beat us, but they got a different team today. But yeah, we got a bounce back after the last one, but we know they're gonna be up for it. And I told you lot, it's the opposite of last week. Got the full squad, even Lightning is back on cam. My red eye. At least he's on target, man. So we'll push on to about three minutes into the game now. I'm driving, I don't know how I didn't see AB there. He's in a load of space. Falls out to them though. It's a weak strike, falls out into Gizzo. Gizzo goes back into S. S gonna find AB. And even though I didn't find them before, you know AB don't hold grudges, cause he's gonna find me this time. It's one nil. So about five minutes into the first half now and Roses are going to try and knock the ball around. To be fair, they've had a lot of the possession in the early parts of the game, but they just haven't done anything with it. We've been more clinical, that's why we got a goal. They're playing to the middle though and Nicky John and AB pressure this guy. He's going to lay it back into AB. It's 2-0. After that goal, AB's going to come off and we're going to get the debut of Kieran. Rose is taking centre now. They try to play it forward to the guy in the middle, but I give him no space. Take it off him. Let one rip. It's 3 0. Shortly after, Rose has had possession, but I think they're going to be sloppy with it. And Giz is going to pounce on the loose ball. And that banana peel is making an appearance again. Oh. <laughs> what a save. So we're nearing the halfway point of the first half now. We've got a comfy 3 0 lead. But listen, you lot, we don't make signings for no reason. Kieran's gonna jump on this one here. Get his debut goal. It's 4 0. Nicky Jan's gonna come off for the Bulldog. Rose is on the ball shortly after. And they're gonna play it to their guy on the right side of the pitch. He lets off a shot, goes wide. And the Bulldog's back doing Bulldog things. Takes it off that guy, brings it forward, finds Kieran. And finishes. It's 5 0. Almost 11 minutes on the clock now, S looking for somewhere to distribute. He's gonna find me short. I take a while on it though and store the play. I think I'm getting tackled and it gets a bit scrappy in here. Ends up falling out to Gizzo. And you know we don't miss those. About 30 seconds later, S gonna find me in the corner. I'm gonna stand up this guy. And the Bulldog's doing Bulldog things again, just chasing the ball. I don't know why he's all over it. I end up shooting. 7-0. Gizzo flag gonna find the ball here. Little jinky majinky. You know his thing, man, he don't play. Double sub now, Nick coming on for the Bulldog. And Gizzo coming off for Rashford. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So we're near the end of the half now, 8 0 up, and we're slightly looking for a clean sheet of this. Hold on. I'll be real, I thought I went in from first glance, but I actually hit the side netting. But yeah, we need to stay switched on and make sure we don't let any lapses of concentration happen. Let them have opportunities to bag. Oh. oh. That was a good call. Mate. So the whistle's gonna go any minute for half time. We're gonna go in 8 1 up. We need to carry on in the second half and see the game out. Another half of the same shit. Another half of the same shit. Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. we're playing good. Fast and moving well, man. We're not fortunate. You might know, you see, mm -hmm. side, even if you play a shit team, they bag like three, four goals. It's like, oh, shit, mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, man, it's a mental game. Off. Don't let them get back into the game, bro. Whenever they get the ball, just pick up your men real quick. Just get right in front yeah. of them in it. Don't give them no they ain't got, They ain't got no subs, so they're all gassed out and shit. So we're back in the second half, and you lot know AB's always in and out of the country. you got to enjoy it while he's here. Oh. He does stuff like that. It's 9-1. And you lot know in real life, Rashford's having a stinker right now, but our one's always on point. Oh. 
So it's a bit of a demolition right now, I'll be real. But obviously, big up to Roses because they're not giving up. They're still trying to get on it and get goals back. I think they're going to play to the right side of the pitch here. The guys going to let off a shot and they get the rebound. It's 10 2. Shortly after that, I don't know how this guy's got so much space. But you know, we got S. And I told you, you got to enjoy AB while he's here. Oh my days! Literally about 10 seconds later, you know AB's got to make up for that one. I'm going to come off here for Nicky Jan. So like I just said before, it's a demolition. It's 11-2 right now, and I'll be real, you know how the game's going to go from here. We're looking for that 20-piece, I'm going to let the rest of these highlights run, and you guys can just take it and see how it went for yourselves. Oh. Any piece acquired, run it. It's game time, and you know what that means. It's time to grab a KFC $20 fill up. Yeah! It's finger licking good. Good. Oh. So the ref's gonna blow the whistle and it's gonna end 21-6 to Corn FC. Great game from the boys. Bounced back after the week before. And this is what we could do, we got a full squad. So yeah, we just gotta keep going with this momentum, keep pushing up the table. Speaking of the table, we actually don't have it to show you this week. I think Power League messed it up a bit, but you know we got one win and one loss going into the third game of the season, which we're gonna have for you next week. So we'll see you then. So no, quick work for the boys, Rashford, yeah? I ain't seen you drop this one a long time, bro. No talking. No talking. Yeah, you just come on inside clear, that's it. Saying, hey, no shooting brutes on today, innit? It's all about the assist, innit? Samurai and Nick, that's a real samurai finish. Oh! Oh! Hat trick there. Hat trick, you said, bro, you said, you said from before, you said. Take care, see you next week, innit? Love, bro. Yeah, love for playing, bro. One day Paul might be a champ, but today it's our day. Ruthless <laughs> <laughs> now. Oh, oh, what is this Premier League football? Oh, yeah. oh. Woo. Ah. Gentlemen, tidy the game up. 